Yo, what the heck is Victini doing in the basement of Liberty Garden? Yes, you heard that all correctly, in Victini's video game debut, it's hiding out in a basement. This is all part of an event that we can no longer access. For players who picked up their copy of Pokemon Black and White on release day, they had the opportunity to obtain the Liberty Pass through Mystery Gift, which would allow them to visit the Liberty Garden by taking a ferry from Castilia City. Pretty typical for other Mystery Gift events for mythical or legendary Pokemon in previous games. Upon arriving at the island, which is based on the real-life Liberty Island in New York, you'll find a handful of tourists as well as some Team Plasma grunts. Now, because this event was available right from the release of the games, this might actually just have felt like a regular in-game event that you could play back then. Team Plasma's Pokemon are at an appropriate level if you were to challenge them when you had two or three gym badges. So if you ended up playing through the event later on, it wouldn't be all that difficult. In fact, even at the appropriate level, there are only grunts on this island, so it's not like you were going to have a hard time anyway. There is a particularly rowdy one waiting in the basement with Victini. Of course, you defeat him, capture the mythical Pokemon, and then Professor Juniper shows up to congratulate you, and that's the end of it. Sure, we got a mythical out of the whole thing, but I really wonder why this all happened in the first place. Everything about this really is an anomaly, not just in the video games, but outside of it. Because one of the mythical Pokemon of the generation was officially revealed, Field and acknowledged just before the release of the game. Other mythicals were often present in the game's code, but were meant to be unlocked through distribution events at a later time, and the Pokemon Company wouldn't acknowledge them until that happened. But Victini was proudly paraded in all of the advertising, even shown off as a point to buy the game. This was back during the time they actually included game manuals and pamphlets in the game case, so there was even an insert that explained step by step how to obtain the mystery gift item and capture Victini. The craziest thing is that this was such a limited event. In the US, Pokemon Black and White were released in early March of 2011, and the Liberty Pass Mystery Gift event would only run until April of that same year. That is a small window, but it's standard for mythical Pokemon events. But in the future, for other day one distribution events, it would last a little longer. And while sometimes distribution distribution events for Pokemon were cool in their own way, they were still just obstacles in obtaining a Pokemon. But having one right after the release of a game that could have been done through Wi-Fi feels almost unnecessary. If it really was meant to be accessed so early in the game, even utilizing characters that appear in the main story, why wasn't it just included as a part of that main story? But I mean, I did play Pokemon White version as soon as I could and got my Victini within a few hours of buying it, so at least I was all set. And in the future, they would have even more events that brought back not only Victini, but some of the other mythicals, so I guess it wasn't all that bad. I'm very glad things have kind of changed in the past few years. And while it was pretty fun to have a Victini chilling in my PC box while I made my way through Unova, I only now wonder what the heck was it doing in Liberty Garden anyway? There is some expositional dialogue that paints a picture, but it's so interesting that it isn't even really that fleshed out. The lighthouse is said to have been built 200 years ago by a nameless rich person who hid Victini inside to make sure nobody used its power of victory for evil. So pretty cool, but I'm very curious to know more. Other mythical Pokemon of the time were given kind of some vague details, really cool events, but no actual lore explanation. So this is actually a pretty significant amount of information, I guess. All of this is what makes the potential future release of Unova Remake so intriguing. There was a movie featuring the Pokemon, in fact, I think there were two. Anime canon isn't always the same as the game canon anyway, but if you think I should watch those movies, let me know. I if you think I should watch both of those movies. Being number zero in the Unova Pokedex, it was always one of those neat little guys. I'm a big fan of the design, it's really simple but unique and fits in with Generation 5, I mean it's literally a V, yet it kind of feels timeless in its simplicity. There's just something about this event that's always stuck with me. I don't see it brought up as often when the discussion about mythical Pokemon events comes up. I wonder if maybe it gets forgotten because it felt like part of the base game, or maybe not as many people experienced it only getting the Generation 5 games after the window had closed. That March release in the US might have actually hurt it a bit, because I know there are a lot of kids who only got new Pokemon games during Christmas. So by then, the Victini event would have already run its course. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Did you ever get to experience the wonders of Liberty Garden, or did your Victini come from a different place? For now, I'll take pride in being able to flex that I was there. I, I swear I was. Thank you to every channel member for your continued support, especially the great gators like Kanan Herb, Panchoni OSC, Leafy Lilith, Skyraker, Eevee, Victor Brine, Dijon, Matthew Kelly, Mushar Siddiqui, Jaxident Prone, Gallantry, Gator Kid 509, TF, Cheeseburger Lasers, Thimmin Van Rin, Cynical Medic, Post Training Arc, Cyberman, Choco Swig, Foxy Gamer 179, Bjorn the Fell Handed, Ruby Trans Cutie, Ben's Quizon, Marzy Beast, Artholomew, The One Girl Into Video Games, Peel the Genius, DeAndre, 961 Pro, Justin Dows, Mathoclock 947, Lockanox, 
Dogs, Nomad Nobi, Swiss Cheese, Pastel Blood, Tajirai, Justin R, Volity, Cosmo Zero, Phantom, and Quago. If you would like to support, see your name here, get access to emotes for comments, live streams, and sometimes early videos, you can become a channel member today. You can also follow me on Twitter as well for more memes. Anyway, this is GatorX, and I'll catch you all later. Ash, Pikachu, and all their friends are back in an all-new Pokemon adventure. It's the premiere of Pokemon the Movie Black, Victini, and Reshiram. Saturday at 7, 6 central. Catch a flick on flicks every weekend only on Cartoon Network.